In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make this cute little sweater. This tutorial is for size 18 months, but you will find the indication for other sizes on my blog. So to begin with, you will need a foundation chain of 66 stitches plus 2. Then begin with the third stitch from the hook. Make one double crochet in each stitch. Okay, so I finished the first row. I have 66 double crochet. And now it's time to work the row two. And to make a band from for the neckline, we will work the next two rows with back post double crochet and front post double crochet repeating these two stitches to the end of the row for two rows so back post and then front post post to the end of the row I just finished the two rows in back post and front post double crochet. Now it's time to begin the row four and to begin the row just chain two and this row will be a simple one so just make one double crochet in each stitch. I just finished this row and now it's time to join the end of the row with the beginning of the row with a slip stitch in the first double crochet that we have made on the previous row. The, this uh, sweater is worked in a round so at the end of the each row we will make a slip stitch and the joining will be on a side here and we will have to make also increasing before before to join uh, the rows so now beginning the next row so chain two and two double crochet in the same stitch and here is how we made an increase and then one double crochet in the next 11 stitches so we will have 12 stitches in total and in the 13 we will make the second increase here we are we have 12 stitches and 13 double crochet in total with the increasing from the previous from the beginning of the row and now in the 13th stitch we will make an increase with two double crochet chain one and then again two double crochet in the same stitch And now continue with one double crochet in the next 19 stitches. In the 19 stitches and in the 12th we will make another increase. Okay, so I am at the end of the 19 stitches and now in the thread I make the increase, 2 double crochet, chain 1 and 2 double crochet, then continue with 12 double crochet in 1 double crochet in the next 12 stitches and here in the 13th stitch we will make another increase. So we will have four increases in total. 
considering one increase the one uh, from the join uh, joining of the row the end of the row with the beginning of the row after this increase we will have to make 19 more stitches and then in the last stitch here we will make two double crochet and then we will join the end of the row with the beginning of the row with one slip stitch in the top of the first double crochet that we have made on this row and basically we will repeat this row so beginning with chain two, two double crochet in the same stitch, then one double crochet until the increasing stitch. So the chain one from the from the increasing, and in this chain one space we will make another increase, and we will continue so on for uh, more eight rows. So we have we will have in total ten rows with the first row in double crochet without uh, it without increasing so as you i'm showing you right now in each chain one from the increasing stitch from the previous row we will make another increase and at the end of the row we will finish the row with two double crochet in the last stitch then we will join with the first double crochet from the row and repeat this like I said until you have 10 rows in total excepting the band uh, that we made for the neckline okay so i finished the first part of uh, this uh, this weather now it's time to uh, leave the sleeves apart and working just the body of the of the sweater so i'm just going to show you how to make uh, this thing so we have made here the last two double crochet in the last stitch now joining with a slip stitch okay and chain two and now yarn over like you want to make a double crochet but just join with the next increasing stitch so skip the stitches for, for the sleeve and then make a double crochet with the two parts together And then continue with one double crochet until the next increasing stitch. Here we are. So yarn over, insert the hook through the stitch, through the chain one space and then skip the stitches for the sleeve insert the hook into the next chain one space and yarn over and make a double crochet then continue with one double crochet to the end of the row and from now on we will uh, make uh, we will repeat this row so now it's time to join with the first double crochet that we have made at the beginning of the row and as I said for now on you will repeat this row as long as you want depending on how long you want to be the sweater I just made 16 rows and uh, two more rows in front post double crochet and back post double crochet okay 
okay so just repeat this row as long as you want until you reach the desired length of the sweater here we are i just finished the length of the sweater and also i have made a uh, sleeve and now i'm gonna show you how to to make the sleeve i also uh, decrease uh, to the sleeve but if you consider that your uh, your sleeve is uh, um, your length for the sleeve is uh, your width for the sleeve is uh, enough you can uh, continue making uh, uh, rows without decreasing so insert the yarn and chain two and then make one double crochet in the same stitch and then continue with one double crochet to the end of the row in each stitch of the sleeve okay so continue with one double crochet until the next uh, next stitch so here we are the last stitch one double crochet and then slip stitch with the first double crochet that we have made in this round and slip stitch chain two and now on this row we will begin to make the decrease and we will make this decrease with two double crochet together so just make one double crochet and don't finish it then insert the hook in the next stitch and then um, close the stitch the two stitches together and continue with one double crochet until the next two stitches so at the end of the row, we will make again a de and decrease. So one decrease at the beginning of the row and one at the end. And we will repeat these two rows four times. So our last row with the decrease would be row eight. Here we are at the end of the row 8 and I am making the last decrease. Then join with the first double crochet. And now make the after that make four more rows without decreasing. So with one double crochet in each stitch and then two more rows in front post double crochet and back post double crochet just to make the band and this is how the sweater looks and in the next video you will find out how to make the bear <laughs>